Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So, oh, been a long day. Uh, anyway, so anyway, we're going back over to Bateman's. I've wanted to do a full series of everything they've got in bottle and um, any cask as well. It's their 150th anniversary. It is 150th, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Um, it's been a long day, I'm knackered. Uh, and like I say, I wanted to go through all the beers. Give them a re-review in 2024. Just to let you know if the quality's gone down or anything. You'd be glad to know that Bateman's aren't daft enough, like some breweries out there, to start dropping ABVs and playing around with the beers. Leave the beers as they are. It's always the best way. Um, so, today we're going to be reviewing Triple XB. Oh, I... Reviewed this at the Victoria Lincoln in the pub on a busy day. I also re reviewed it in the pub again over at the um, Woolpack in Louth. Uh, well, on Sunday dinner, doing a quick review. So, you know, I'm not scared about doing reviews in pubs. They'll always be a lot shorter, obviously, because um, half the time no one can hear you anyway. Anyway, so here we go. 4.8%. I'll read what it says, just so as you know. If you've never had this before. So, Triple XB is a classic pale ale with a Moorish flavour. 4.8%. On the back it says, Our story is one of enterprise and innovation. Always looking forward whilst remaining true to our family roots. After four generations, Batemans are still fiercely independent. Honesty, creativity and gritty determination fuel our passion for our beers. With free malts and free op varieties, Triple XB is bursting with aroma and flavour. The delicate aroma of biscuit and fruit unleashes a distinctive peppery fruit flavour, which is followed by earthy ops and a dry maltiness. The perfect first quencher and fully delicious too. 4.8%. God, I'm falling asleep as I'm, I'm reviewing. I've done the standard eight hours at work and then I did two hours on somebody's garden as well, so... Yeah, tired is not the word. And I always give my all. I do not. I'm not one of these people who slacks. I can't do it. It's not me. So I can't find my new Bateman's glass. I don't know where that's gone. Unless one of the kids has had it. So I'm having to put it in a Blue Monkey glass. But Blue Monkey and Bateman's seem to be good mates uh, since last year. Um... I like Blue Monkey, and I like Bateman's. So what can we see? It's a, it looks like an amber pour, with a finger of white head. Good bit of carbonation coming off the bottom. And uh, there we go. Oh. On cask. Oh, it's amazing. And it's amazing in bottle as well. Anyway, let's crack on. There is a lot of fruit aroma on this. And there is, there is a lovely bit of pepper going off. My dog's name Pepper. <laughs> Not spot the same. P E P P. Beer brewed right, that's all I can say. Um, there's a reason why I re-review re beers. Um, there's breweries out there, not naming no names, but um, based in Kent, that have been putting glucose in their beer. And I don't know what it is, because I use sugar in, in home brewing. And 99.9% .9 of the time, I can't taste no sugar. Because obviously it's brewed it out. But for some reason, the glucose that they're using, I can taste. And it ruins the beer. Thank gosh that Batemans don't do any of them tricks. Um, like I say, you can ruin a brand. And, and, and some brands as well now, dropping the ABV down. 
Um, you, you look around the world of modern traditional beers, and I, I understand there's, you know, there's a thing about getting the beer out there, trying to earn some profit off that beer. But when you lower your standards, and we only need to look, and I won't name names, but you only need to look at the world of beer, uh, to know there's lots of brands out there that are not nowhere near what they were. I mean, we could all name and shame, and I'm not doing it on this review. I'll do that on one of my raggies, um, beer of raggies. Then I, I'll go. Just had a cracking day at work. Today I was on the three acre site in Arnold, Cockliffe House, um, a brilliant wedding location, got a fantastic garden, <laughs> um, with gardens that uh, I've had for nearly four years now of my expertise in working on them and the colour there is, is, is bursting, you come round the corner at the edge past the grotty farmer's road. <clears throat> Don't get me started about that. You come round the corner and it's like, oh wow. Striped lawns, beautiful flowers in the beds, a mixture of colours, um, aroma from, from the flowers. And that's replicated across the whole property on, on the lawns and that. Um, my own, a vegetable garden. Uh, grow everything from cuttings, recycling. It's like today when I, I when I mow the grass that I get off, I actually use that as a green mulch around the flowers and around the plants. Um, I don't get all the leaves out because I'm, I'm I'm mindful that nature doesn't need it to be, you know, clear, crystal clean. Um, so I mulch around stuff. You know, all to keep the weeds down and whatever. We do have to use weed killer because I can't, can't keep on top of the weeds without it on, on the part on the pathways and stuff. And uh, but keep that down to an absolute minimum. Um, by clever gardening, by you know, by utilising um, planting, massive planting, but planting so there's hardly no gaps whatsoever, so that. Um, you know, everything grows and fills in, and eventually, no weeds. Hopefully, um, which makes life easy for me if there's no weeds. I must do a video this year of the progression at the workplace because. Yeah, it's it's come on um, really well. Oh, so anyway, back to Batemans. Went to the brewery the other week. Uh, the brewery sharp, and uh, went to some Batemans pubs in Lincolnshire. Uh, ticked a box. There's a box that needed ticking, and. Um, It was nice to go and visit and obviously get one of each of the beers for, for, for another review in, in Raggy's tap room. Um, sometimes it's just nice just to sit down and enjoy a beer. Don't want to drink a beer in five minutes and then move to another beer. I want to take 15 or 20 minutes minimum, sometimes even 40 minutes drinking a pint. And I look at Batemans and they've got a reputation for being good people. Um, and I like that. I like the fact that, you know, that the pubs have a good range of beer on. More traditional than craft. 
you know, you're not finding craft beers in pubs, but it is what it is. Um, obviously, seasonal cask comes in, but predominantly um, more more modern traditional beer than than than, than so. Although the collab with Buxton was a, a step in uh, a slightly more crafty direction. Um, but good food in the pubs. I mean, the food at the Lauf, uh, the Woolpack, Woolpack. Oh, gosh. I mean, we went back the next morning for breakfast and, uh, yeah, so good food. Nice people as well. I always watch staff when they work for anybody and what they're like and whether they're smiling and, and happy. Because if your staff are happy, it shows. And at both pubs that I visited that were Batemans, staff were well happy doing what they do um, and enjoying their job. And it's the best way to be, obviously. You know, if you can't enjoy if you're not enjoying your job, then why are you in the job? Um, it's a bit like me. The reason I'm a gardener is because I absolutely love gardening. You know, don't get paid as much as I should do, but uh, you, know, you can't always win on that side of things. Um, but yeah, I do love what I do and uh, try and make the most out of it. You know, there are pathways. In life, you know, we all want to have enough money to survive, but not be greedy. Have, have family round us, have no hassle, no issues. You need to look at the news to see that the world sometimes is a stupidly crazy place and. Uh, yeah, but politics, I'm firmly keeping away from politics because uh, you can get dragged in and uh, yeah, I'd rather not. I'd rather stick to po positivity than negativity and uh, hence why I do beer reviews. Uh, a beer down the shed, me talking rubbish to the camera. Um, and obviously if people watch it, that's all good. If not, then in retrospect, I'm having a beer and just talking to myself. Which, uh, <coughs> yeah, I'm getting good at that, to be honest. I think it's six years of doing beer reviews. This is the six, it's the six year anniversary of the channel. I need to go back and find what the date was of the very first review. Um, and possibly buy a special beer for that date. To review it and maybe do a live you know a proper uh, decent live and uh, chat and that uh, I've not seen him and again I say this quite a lot but I've hardly seen anything that anybody else is doing these days sometimes I think YouTube hide them from you because at the moment I'm all I'm getting is rampant lion what, what with this uh, Asian beer reviews. Um, that's about it. So it's still got a nice fruitiness, a nice peppery taste to it. It's just a damn nice beer. You know, you, you I could drink this till the cows come home. I really could. One day I'll make it over to Wayne Fleet um, for a brewery tour, I think. It's got to be done. Oh, I've got a busy year already planned. You know, we've, got, we've got breaks in September, we're going away. October, we're going away. Um, and then we try and do the beery stuff every weekend on Saturday. Try and go somewhere. You know, to pubs uh, that I've not been to before. Try. It's not always possible because people, you know, it's driving and uh, 
It's like this weekend I'm on about to go into a new tap room that I haven't been to. And again, to get there, busing's a waste of time. It just takes too long. So we're never going to get there unless somebody um, somebody does the good thing, the good deed, and drives, and it's me. So. But luckily I can have a pint and a half, two pints if it's low ABV. And uh, sample the um, the tap room. And the good thing is that with, with beer reviews inside tap rooms, I can have a sip of somebody's beer and just get what I get just for a quick beer review. So, although not always. <clears throat> if I'm not driving then it's, it's a pint. <laughs> Simple as that. So, very enjoyable. Um, Triple XP, yeah, it's a stunning beer. Keep into its traditions, not messing about with the beer. I've no idea if it's changed over the years. It's not changed since I've been doing beer reviews, as far as I know, at least. Um, but a cracking beer from a cracking brewery. You know, I have nothing but admiration, which is why I went to the brewery and got all the beers, you know. Um, would I drink this again? That's the biggest question. And that question is, is absolutely yes. Out of five. Out of five, scores really don't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things. And I'll say that. Um, and I tend to give higher scores than most other people. But there's a re, you know, there's good beers and then there's not so good and then there's awful and uh, I mean and there's also absolutely fantastic beers but they you know but uh, for me a good 4.5 out of 5 it's an absolute modern traditional classic and I love it and that's that cheers on